and hats off to Everett Hammonds. I mean, just to see what he did just from start to finish. Um, if he, if we didn't have his effort in the first 10 minutes of the game, the game could have got out of control early. But, um, you know, that's a freshman growing up right in front of our eyes. And, and um, he's been practicing well. He has a lot of confidence. And um, But, um, you know, we, we um, at this point in the season, it's difficult for us yeah. not having your best player and uh, to go against what, the best team in this conference or the second best team in this conference. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to see our guys play hard. I'm happy to see them compete. And I'm happy to see them give us a chance to win, in which that's all you want this time of year from, from a team with our situation. Can you um, tell us anything about Malik's status? Is he... Are you going to get back out there? Well, we hope. Um, we are uh, optimistic uh, that, of course, he's optimistic that he will be able to play on Saturday. Uh, he went through some shooting drills with us uh, the last two days of practice, and his cast is off right now, and and he says he's feeling, feeling good. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, we can go through two days of practice um, of uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, and we can put him out there. Uh, at this time of year, the doctors have said that it's not going to be worse. If anything happened to it, it's not going to be worse. So uh, he wants to play. Uh, we need him to play. And, um, and hopefully he's able to go through two days of practice and be able to play. And what about uh, Dalvin White having, handling some of those uh, point guard responsibilities? How long has he been working on that? Dalvin's doing a good job. And obviously, um, um, you know, we put him in the, in the starting lineup for his energy and for his personality, and he's, his personality is infectious with the whole team, and and, and our team rally around him. Um, he's a true point guard. He's a true leader. Uh, played at a great program at, at North Cross High School, and so he understands what winning at a high level is all about, and he's going to be the reason why we're going to be a good program in the, in the, in the future. Um. The only other question I had was, is that as many different defensive looks as you've used in a game this year? I saw some zone, I saw, and you're not a big zone guy, are you? No, I'm not. No, I'm, no, I'm not. But we had to throw things against the wall to yeah. see what happens. And um, um, But give credit to our guys. They, they just stuck in there. And, yeah. um, uh, I thought the zone yeah, helped you. Our, 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 our zone really helped us. It's just we couldn't rebound out of yeah. it. And, and that's the... That's the um, you know, that's the down zone, downside of playing zone is that you can't rebound out of it. And plus, we don't practice it a lot, so we don't talk about rebounding. But um, um, Clemens made some unbelievable shots. And if you take his, dag his daggers away, it's a different game. Yeah. And how would you describe that, that whole middle of the uh, second half where you guys were uh, – Fighting and clawing better, especially yeah. defense holding them to I think a couple single-digit uh, segments, if yeah. you will. Well, we we watched a, um, a speech last night on the movie any given given any given, any given Sunday, and um, the guys uh, really took into that speech as far as clawing and using your fingernails and whatever it takes to try and get a stop and try and get a win, and they did that for the most part. And um, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm proud of our effort. I'm proud of where our guys are still playing and competing. And so now we just got to uh, get healthy again if, if we can and get Malik back in the lineup and we try and get a win on Saturday. Speaking of Saturday, the last regular season conference game, last one at home for this group of seniors, uh, what have they uh, meant to this program here in your first year? Well, they, they meant a lot to me because when I took the job, um, I said I wanted to uh, embrace those guys and have those guys be – uh, big time players for us, not on the court, uh, not only on the court, but in the locker room as well. And they've done that. And um, Malik, Dion, Yuri, Pat, um, those are seniors that I didn't recruit those guys, and I only coached them for one year. Um, but I'm happy to be their coach, and I love those guys. And so we want to send them out with a win, and hopefully we can do that. Last question for me, uh, uh, Dion. Speaking of the seniors, uh, another big game had some. 
big triples there in those that second half that really helped you guys to fall within, I think, about eight to ten points at that time. Yeah, Dion is a big time player, and obviously our guys know that, and um, and they look for him, and then he was able to get loose a couple of times, um, and every team defense is geared towards stopping him, and he he somehow found a way. Um, but now if we can get Malik back in the fold with him and get our one-two punch back, then we can um, um, put our best foot out there against Hampton and see what happens.